Hi guys! This is my tutorial for a sunset glitter tumbler. I've already sanded my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block and now I'm adding a coat of CC DIY Primetime. Once it's dry, I mix some dispersion colors into more Primetime to add a base color for my sunset. Normally I spray paint my base colors but it's still a tad too chilly in my garage and this is a great alternative and I can stay warm inside my house. I'll be using the epoxy method to apply my glitter and I'll be using about five to seven milliliters. This is a little bit more than you normally would use when you're doing the epoxy method, but I find that if I use a little bit more epoxy, I can get a really nice blend with my ombre. Now, don't come for me y'all, y'all know I'm extra and you know I love me some glitter and your girl used some glitter for this design, but please do not feel you have to use all of the colors that I'm about to use because it's gonna be a lot. This design is actually a throwback to a design I made after I've been making cups for a little less than a year because I was still epoxying the whole cup and it was really popular, so popular that I got sick of making it. So it's been a few years since I've made this design and I decided to bring it back. Let your glitter layer cure, seal with Krylon Triple Thick, and then we'll be ready for our first coat of epoxy. I have already added a layer of epoxy to the tumbler, and now I'm gonna take that leftover epoxy and split it into three cups. I'm gonna be adding some bigger cut glitter to add some extra sparkle to the tumbler. But as always, y'all can absolutely skip this step if you like. Seal this layer with another coat of epoxy so our tumbler will be nice and smooth and then we'll be ready to add our alcohol inks. 
I lightly sanded my rim and have already added about 30 milliliters of fast set epoxy. Now I'm ready to add inks to my design. I love adding alcohol inks on top of glitter. The richness the inks give your glitter is chef's kiss. The depth it will give your tumbler, oh my goodness, it'll be gorgeous. For a starry night effect, I'll also be adding holographic glitter to really make our starry night shimmer. When dripping the black inks, I like to drip them onto the tape and have it spread up into the tumbler design. I don't want to drip it directly onto the tumbler, or it can go a little bit higher than I want it to go. Let cure, then we'll be ready to add our vinyl. To keep our vinyl secure, I sealed it with quick coat from CCDIY and now we're ready to epoxy. I wanted to add some larger stars in the forefront for an added nice sky effect, but you definitely don't have to.
Let this layer cure, then seal your whole design with another coat of epoxy and then you'll be all done. That's it guys! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your sunset glitter tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye!